Hey everybody, Andrew Morgan, and it's Cyber Call Monday here with Chris Lair, EVP of Solid Security. Chris, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for being here. Love doing it. Yeah, well, we're excited to have you. Chris, we talk a lot about incident response plans and tabletops, but today we're going to get a little more prescriptive. Uh, in fact, we're going to get very tactical in talking about what MSPs need to do pre, during, and post incident, both with their clients as well as within their own practices. So Chris, talk to us a little about maybe some things we're going to look at in all three of those steps that MSPs need to be focused on? Well, yeah, so first of all, obviously we're gonna cover preservation because that's so important and, it, and it's changing very quickly because of the exfiltration and everything uh, that people are seeing today. So obviously the Colonial Pipeline story is still fresh in the news. And so we'll be relating to that as much as we can because I think it's a very relevant case, meaning that they got popped by a variant called Dark Side, which is popping other companies of different sizes as well. So I think it's uh, good material. I think it'll be fresh on people's brains about what's doing that. And then I think we'll talk about as well about kind of the emotional side of things. I think that's very important to understand and be prepared, uh, both from an MSP perspective and a client perspective of how to keep those emotions in check and kind of ensure that the right communications cadence and everything is followed, kind of what to say, what not to say during those times. Uh, I can kind of talk about some examples where things go great and maybe things that didn't go so great. And then last, uh, you know, we cover from a postmortem perspective. I think that's, you know, in, in important. And I think a lot of people lose sight of that. You know, after an event is done, they're, they're ready just to move on with their lives and they don't really want to kind of revisit that. Right. I guess it's somewhat like a divorce. You don't want to go back and review your marriage post-divorce. Uh, but in these situations, it's very important. It's important to get that done very quickly because uh, everything's fresh on the mind. I think people can be more candid, more honest, and less filtered about things. And so you can obviously be better prepared uh, the next time. And I think it goes a long way because in today's world where you have third parties that may pop up later to ask you questions about an event, maybe it's related to a merger or acquisition, maybe it's related to some legal matter or whatever, doing that post-mortem and being prepared for uh, possible actions after the case uh, is, is important. Chris, let, one last thing. Let's just talk really quickly about the pre-event things and, and maybe what MSAs look like today and knowing that most MSPs, we've pulled it several times on the cyber call, north of 85% of MSPs in their aggregate don't know if all their clients have cyber insurance. Right. So re looking at their MSA, who's responsible for what and re and, and approaching their clients again, true or false, really critical at this point in time in the overall market. Yeah, you know, for years, you know, for the right reasons, right? The MSP MSA has been for the MSP has been simplified, right? You know, there were people that just had MSAs that were way too long and complex and it slowed down the process. And, you know, you know, all the experts and myself agreed that a simpler MSP MSA for MSPs was uh, was needed, uh, but that doesn't mean that that needs to stay static. And I think in light of these situations with incidents and cyber incidents, especially with uh, responsibility and so on and so forth, it goes a long way. I mean, I've been involved in you know some some situations recently where it's clearly not the MSP's fault. Like even the MSP was doing very little for the client, and then they got brought in to assist, and then at the you know, towards in the middle of the, the event, you know, the client starts trying to shift blame towards the MSP. And so I think that's something we all have to be uh, cognizant of and sensitive to. And I think the MSA, A, needs to be able to cover that. And then B, you need to be able to have discussions about it. And I think you need to have discussions about it. You know, the, the more I've been thinking about this lately, Andrew, the more I've been thinking about uh, we really should be talking to MSPs about when you should have conversations about things and probably not come across as trying to cross sell or upsell something. Just have a conversation, you know, organization to organization about these things. And I think uh, when it comes down to the MSA and things around the MSA around cyber incidents, that's a good time to do it. Excellent. We'll look forward to seeing you at one o'clock. It's only a few hours away, Chris. I can't wait. I'll be there. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Andrew.